Okay, so right now we just have the implementation of being able to go fetch a list of users, render them, uh, and also we implemented the delete, going back to the server and say, hey, remove this from the remote uh, um, list of users, yes? So let's, let's, uh, let's uh, uh, step up a little bit and let's add maybe an input field that would allow us to create a brand new user, All right? So let's do that. Uh, so for instance, in our HTML, we might add above our user list, we might add a, an input field, uh, maybe give it the ID uh, username field. And, um, and then um, uh, maybe put a button underneath that says, that allows us to create a user, okay? And we'll put here the ID uh, create button, okay? Now from our controller, our controller, we're going to grab those two things, right? We're going to grab the the um, uh, the username field, uh, which was a username field. There it is, and we're going to grab the button. So let um, actually no, we shouldn't do that here. Uh, actually, this should only happen in the main, right? We should happen in the main. So we'll move it. Uh, here we're only just going to declare them. So this is the create button only de declaring, but the actual binding should happen in the main. Where's main? All right, and we don't have the let. And create button is bound to um, create button. There it is. All right, so we're now gonna bind them here. I'm gonna bind them in main. Uh, let's see if I broke something. Okay, so this should still work. Refresh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, uh, so so in the, the create button, what the create button is gonna do is I'm gonna bind it to a function that handles that create, right? So I'm gonna create declare here a, uh, an event handler. So uh, I'll call it uh, function uh, create user, right? Uh, and I'm gonna bind it. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, the create button. When if I click on it, I'm going if uh, if I click on it, uh, I'm going to call uh, create user right without the parentheses. Careful, right? All right. So create user, the function create user. What's going to do is going to read the input field. Right, it's going to create a brand new user here. So uh, const uh, user new user new user is going to have a username from the field, which is, I believe, username field dot value. Once we have the brand new user, we can we can append it to the local array. We can say users dot push and then new user. Okay, uh, maybe we can clear out the field, right, for convenience, All right? So let's see. Uh, and once we push it, we can then re-render the users, render users. Let's see if uh, so. If I add here, uh, it's not it's not working. Uh, create, create user. Click. Uh, did I refresh? I think I refreshed, didn't I? I am Eli. Let's see. All right. So the create is working right locally, but if I refresh, notice that it's not. It's not there, right? We need to tell the server, right, that we need to store this permanently. So let's do that. So to do that, we're going to implement that in the client, right, over here in the admin client. And what we're going to do is that it's going to look very similar to uh, like this one over here, return self.url. But instead, uh, I don't have an ID. I don't have an ID, so I'm not going to provide an ID. The server and the database are going to do that, right? They're going to find the primary key. Uh, but it's not a get, right? Remember that the default here is a get. Uh, so instead, I'm going to override that. I'm going to say, no, no, it's not a get. Instead, is a the method is a post. Yes? Uh, I also need to send the new user that I just created, right, locally uh, here. So, and that I'm going to send it over on the body, right, uh, uh, embedded inside of the HTTP body. Uh, now, this, this user right now is a JSON object in memory, right? Uh, in uh, in HTTP, we can't send objects, right? What, uh, what what the only thing that we can send across is just you know ASCII characters back and forth, right? So I need to convert this object 
in memory, I need to convert it into a string representation. To do that, there is a, um, a, a library called JSON, right? That's part of the browser uh, that I can that, that provides functions to convert any JSON object into a string rep it's a string representation, right? With a correct you know escaping of the characters and does that all for me. Okay. Uh, plus, I need to now that it's a string and I'm sending it over to a server. I need to tell the server, hey server, I'm sending this string, but it's not any string. It's a string that you should interpret as a JSON object. Okay. It's not XML, it's not a PDF document, it's not Word, right? It's not an, an, it's not an image that I'm uploading. It's not, I'm, I'm not attaching anything, right? It's just a string. And the way you should interpret it is by, uh, as, a, as, a, as a JSON object, okay? Uh, and to do that, uh, we use the, the headers. So in the headers, headers, uh, we can specify uh, how, the, what the type of the content is, right? And the way we do that is by using content type. Okay, and here we can we can apply any number of international standards on on different types of of documents, right? Yes, uh, because all these are are uh, are actual um, keywords, valid keywords. Content type would have a dash in between. It would not, so it doesn't understand that. Yeah, it's because of the minus in there. <laughs> Okay, uh, so so here we're going to uh, use uh, its application slash JSON, right? That's the international standard for specifying documents that are of type JSON. Okay, and that's about it, right? The um, the server I programmed the server to insert this JSON object into the database, create a new ID, and then echo back to you that object that was inserted in the database, right? So it's going to come back. The object is going to come back from the server. Yes. Yeah, I had the server running on my machine. Uh, you would have to build the entire server. I mean, you can if you want, but it's way beyond the scope <laughs> of the assignment. Uh, no, the server is already deployed. It's already running, right? You're hitting my server. Yeah, it's already running. We've we've been using it all along, right? So you would be using the same URL. The only thing you would change is that instead of my username, you would use your username. Okay, All right, and and then everybody would use their own unique identifier so that everybody works with their own data, right? That's the only difference. Okay, and yes, in a couple of weeks we will learn how to do that from scratch. All right, that server will build a, a server from scratch. Okay. Um, all right, so yeah, so that server that I built, uh, it echoes back the actual object that was inserted into the database. Yes. Uh, and it returns it as JSON. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to parse that as a JSON object. We're going to parse it as a JSON object. And whoever, you know, whoever calls me, whoever calls create user, what they're going to get back is the actual object that was inserted in the remote database. Right. So create user. Let's use it then. Here's create user. Uh, create user. Where are you? Here's create user. Uh, so here's my brand new user. I'm going to send it to my user service, user service .create user. I pass in the new user. And what I get back in my then is the actual user, actual user. And I can do a console log uh, actual user. All right, so let's try it out. Let's refresh. Uh, so, so if I uh, do here uh, Frank and I do create, notice that I get back is my username is Frank, and UID is XYZ, because that's what we're using, right? Users, and then the brand new ID. See that? So it's echoing back the actual object that was inserted in the database. And it added it here, Frank, see that? If I refresh, if I refresh, Frank's there. All right, Frank's there. Um, now, because I, I, I pushed it into that array, even though it works fine like this, uh, a better solution would be to put this push and this render users don't put it in there, but instead put it in here, right? The difference is that here, I am guaranteed that I'm coming back from the server, right? And once it comes back from the server, I am guaranteed that something happened in the server. The server knows about this, right? If somehow 
you know, the server was down and I wasn't able to connect to it, then the, then the actual user would never made it into a database, yes? And it would make no sense to add it to my own array here locally on the browser. Make sense, right? Notice that the array that I have on the browser is only ever a, a small cache of the actual data that is in the, in the server. Yes? Where, this? Uh, that's the name of parameter, right? This is a function. So this is a function, right? And has a parameter, it's the name of parameter. Yes, so it's whatever you wanna call the, the name of the parameter. And also I'm being lazy, right? But the, the uh, here, um, you could put parentheses where, which are optional if, you're, if you only have one single parameter, okay? Um, all right, so so let's uh, let's try it again. Let's refresh. Frank, uh, uh, Greg, um, and uh, and Bob. All right. So if we refresh, notice that they are there, and I can remove. I can remove. So I can create and I can remove. Everybody good? All right. So we have three of the five CRUD operations. Yes. Is that what I did? Uh oh. Yes, you're totally right. Yes. Yeah. It, it, all right. Exactly. Perfect. I don't want to push new user. I want to push the actual user because the new user doesn't have the ID. Right. So if I want to remove them, I can, I'm not going to be able to remove them. Right. Instead, actual user has the ID so that when I click on delete, it'll go and, and remove it. Yeah. So actually, if I went back and refresh, probably I didn't remove all of them. Oh no. Actually, I got lucky. <laughs> So Bob and Ed, um, uh, some of these would not might have not have IDs. Yeah, very good, very good catch. All right, so we've 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 implemented three of the five CRUD operations, right? We have find all, so that we can, you know, uh, re-render the entire page. Uh, we have delete, we can remove an an a, a data, uh, object that already exists, and we just created did a create user. Yes. Right, so how about if I want to be able to update a user? Yes, I want to update a, 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 um, an object that already exists, right? So based on RESTful services, uh, it would be a put, right? I would, you would need to tell me the ID of the object that you are updating, and then the, um, the actual fields that you're, that you're changing, okay? So let's implement that. Right. So what we'll do is that, uh, let's do, we'll do that in a new video.